Good morning, everyone. This is Rob with Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2018 Freightliner Cascadia. It has a Detroit 400 horsepower DD15 with 1750 torque. This is a downsped engine with a direct drive automatic DT12 transmission. This will keep the RPMs low, keep your fuel economy high, and still give you plenty of power for the hills. So let's go through this truck. I'll show you some of the features, some of the things that we've done to it, and explain a little bit about the process if you happen to be watching this video and you're not in Canada. If you're in the US, because this truck is sitting in my yard, Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, our price includes delivery to Buffalo, New York, if that's where you want to take delivery from. So let's have a look here. This is the 2018 126 hood, new style as we call it. Uh, we've sold a lot of the old style in the past. I really do like this for some of the nice features and upgrades that they've done to it. I will show you that momentarily, but take a look here. You can see that we've got all aluminum wheels. We've got the wind deflectors, uh, hubcap covers, if you want to call them, on the back. And let's first off take a look at the inside of the door and explain to you a little bit about what a 400 horsepower engine is all about. So if you have a look here, DD15, 400 horsepower, 1750 torque, with a very fast gear ratio 228. A lot of people will call me and ask, you know, what, um, I need 500 horsepower, I need 510 horsepower. Well, I'll tell you something. The trucks that ran 30 years ago, 350 was big horsepower, 400 was big horsepower. This truck has plenty of horsepower to pull 80,000 pounds anywhere in North America. The benefit of having lower horsepower is better fuel economy. Obviously, you don't want all of your profits going out the tailpipe. With 1750 torque, which is higher than most engines, it will pull from a stoplight with plenty of power. There will be no issues. Uh, by every 50 RPM drop in the engine, you gain about a half percent of fuel economy, which doesn't sound like a lot, but we'll go in and we'll look at the lifetime fuel economy on this truck, and I'll let you be the judge as to whether or not downspeeding the engine makes sense or not. So if you're hauling less than 80,000 pounds, this will be your perfect truck. You don't need 500 horsepower, and quite honestly, you'll get used to having less horsepower. So let's have a look here. You can see that we've got a pair of brand new 16-ply Firestone steering tires. We've got disc brakes on the front. Uh, your DD15, this is a non-turbo compounding engine. You can see that we've sandblasted and painted the chassis, sandblasted and painted up around the uh, around the front of the air to air. Looks nice. Uh, one of the features I really do like on this new style Cascadia is the hood latch or the hood hinge rather. Have a look in here. Very simple, easy to maintain. The other ones used to seize up and they would all... Um, the clamshell would split in half and it was just a disaster trying to deal with it. On top of that, they have these nice, uh, we'll call them uh, straps that hold the hood. So these are very flexible, obviously low cost to replace if you have to, but none of the uh, steel or braided stainless uh, cables that are holding this together anymore because they would have a tendency to, um, to fail over time. These are much more durable. Having a look in here, we've got the same style pocket that holds that hood uh, down and you've got your, your latch up top, very similar to the old style. Another brand new steering tire on the front here. Take a look out the back. You'll see here that we've got two doors. This has the premium insulation package. The giveaway on the premium insulation package is this extra piece of foam on the door and then they put Synth insulate, probably hard to see, but all throughout uh, the cab, you've got this additional layer of insulation. Here we've got uh, an inverter, which is gonna run receptacles throughout the cab. That's wired in directly into the battery, currently turned off, and obviously a second access door, which is nice to allow you to throw gear up into the bunk. Have a look here. We've got the Evolution skirts with the full, uh, full extension down at the bottom. Looks like we've got some dirt or stains here on this plastic. And this is unpainted plastic, which is good and bad. If you like the two-tone look, certainly not bad. The other thing that's great about it is you've got 
the ability to just replace the panel without having to paint it. This looks like just dirt in the water. So that, that's gonna come off, but just an unpainted lower section, which usually tends to pick up bumps and scratches and scrapes and, and, and stones. Uh, being able to replace it without having to go to the body shop is a truly nice feature. Have a look over here. We've got a 150 gallon tank. Now I turned on the bunk heater uh, unknowingly, so that is running. I'll take you inside and show you that. Let's have a look over here. We got uh, quarter fenders, both in good condition. We've got brand new drive tires. Okay, we've got uh, Holland 3500 fifth wheel. It's fixed. Take note of that. All position disc brakes. So steer axle disc brakes as well as drive position disc brakes. Uh, on the back here, we have a 40,000 pound rear axle with 40,000 pound suspension. Okay, and 10 new tires on this truck, as I'd mentioned before. Uh, we do have a power divider lock. So if you have a look here, you'll see hiding there right there is your lock so when you flip the switch that'll lock your your diff side to side okay give you a good look at the back here single cb antenna led lights okay we've got an underslung exhaust so that's your tailpipe that hasn't run a regen since we painted the frame that'll burn off once uh we do the first regen uh, let's get a look inside of here and just see what's going on inside of this little cupboard. So here we've just got secure storage. Okay, and again with the additional insulation. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get this running in just a minute. I wanna take you through the inside. We'll get it started and let you have a, a listen to it running. A couple of things to point out here. Okay, so this is uh, certified to meet it says Canadian emission regulations over here. Uh, let's have a look over here. Okay, so it complies with US EPA and California emissions. So this is a fully compliant truck. So let's get this thing powered up and let you have a listen. Again, we've got the key down on the left side, no different than the old style. Okay, so we've got heated mirrors. We've got power mirrors, we've got power windows, and we've got power locks, nice. Uh, we've got the premium uh, interior trim, so we've got some upgraded fake wood grain. We've got steering wheel audio with Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, let's have a look through here. So we've got 8.5 miles per gallon. And remember we were talking about down speeding? This is where getting an engine that makes less horsepower and runs at a lower RPM is gonna get you eight and a half miles a gallon. That's a big deal. So have a look through here. Uh, it looks like we've got most of the lights on. I'll go through the inside in a minute. So we've got a uh, good complement of gauges, transmission, temperature. This is your air brake application, oil temp, uh, suspension load gauge, turbo boost, and then all your other standard oil pressure and whatnot. Take a look, we've got good oil pressure at almost 70 pounds. Now the engine is cold. Uh, let me see if I can get the idle. Uh, this one's a little tricky. I always forget. The old one was easier. So let's have a look here. Uh, how do we do that? Gauges, speed, leg. We'll come back to that. I'm just going to let it idle. Have a look here so you get your full complement of switches, cup holders. Over here we've got a synthetic leather slash a vinyl seat very good condition small damage there in the middle over here we've got a cloth seat obviously this is not the original seat it's got a mismatched armrest but it's overall in good condition as well and it's fully adjustable have a look here we've got secure storage all the way around we've got indirect led lighting which is really nice for this truck there was a point where the cascadia was a nice truck from a mechanical standpoint, but kind of cheap from a luxurious standpoint. This one is quite an improvement over the last gen. We've got secure storage here for, looks like a, well, we've got a 120 volt power outlet here. Looks like maybe a TV slash toaster oven, microwave, something can certainly go in here. We've got a coax cable and some outlets. Over here, we've got secure storage. We've got a writing table. 
Okay, we've got a refrigerator. Okay, inside of here. Okay, so we've got a clothes hanger, a pocket, another writing table, more secure storage. Okay, we've got our bunk access outside there. And over here, we've got our heater. Okay, so it's blowing hot air. I can feel it coming out of here. That's your outlet. And it's cold today, so having hot air blowing at me is great. I'm going to shut that off in just a minute. Now the truck has gone into idle shutdown, which is fine. I'm going to start that back up again. I'll give you a look through here. So we've got the upper level bed with a ladder. We've got two brand new mattresses. Let's have a look underneath here and see what's going on. So you've got your bunk heater is right there. You've got secure storage over there with access to the outside. And then we've got your inverter and your fire extinguisher. Full vinyl throughout, easy to clean up. Okay, let's get this thing running and I'll let you have a listen to the engine. And then, let's see, so it's gonna go through its, through its wake up. So we got three minutes of idle, which really you don't wanna be idling these trucks. They don't like it. The DPFs have a tendency to get filled up with soot. So that's why they put it into protection mode. So let's have a listen to this. Let's have a listen to the engine. I'll just rev it up. We've got this door, which is famous for rattling. I'm going to open that up. That's open. We'll just have a listen here. Sounds good and smooth. It's got that new kind of a sound where the idle is smooth. The DD15 is when they tend to get older and higher in mileage. Uh, you get this lumpy sort of an idle and, and they're just not smooth anymore. This still has that nice, doesn't have a diesel knock when you accelerate. Let's go out and have a listen to the engine running. And I'll get the oil filler cap off and we'll see what kind of uh, blow by is coming out of it. See there, little to no blow-by whatsoever, which is good. Lots of life expectancy left in this engine. And also, DD-15s are rated for 1.2 million miles. 50% of them, according to Detroit, should last 1.2 million miles. You see they've got a new retentioner on there. And up is going free. So if you happen to be watching this video, like I said earlier, and you're in the US and you're interested in this truck and you want to make a deal, our price does include delivery to Buffalo. We'll supply you with the paperwork in order to convert the title from Canada to USA. We do this on a fairly regular basis, so we're familiar with the process and can certainly get this truck to you to take delivery in Buffalo. 2018 Cascadia. Give us a call, our number 844-489-8789. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.